Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another extra credit class for this, the Duckling Boot Camp. We're on week five right now, and this week is going to be a fun little set of interesting flags. We are calling it Dangers of the High Seas. Um, it's going to be myself and Light Reboot stepping in in the clutch to help us out tonight for this. Light, how are you doing over there? Hello, I'm doing well. Thank you very much. <laughs> so we're going to we're going to have ourselves a fun little time. The reason why we are calling it Dangers of the High Seas, we're going to get that in a second. Uh, you'll see standard shops, standard magic levels, shuffle. Uh, one of the interesting things you're going to see, and this is where the danger comes in, you have Enemizer with Generate Formations. That means that you don't know what kind of enemy packs you're going to see. It's going to be the standard enemies. We don't have full Enemizer on here. But you will see interesting and unusual packs showing up in places you wouldn't expect, maybe pairing up different monsters you wouldn't normally see. I think life, I think it, when I've used this before, and I don't know about if you've seen this or not, like wolves on the open ocean around Canarias sometimes, things like that. Yeah, without a doubt, you can uh, run into, like, uh, eyes and, uh, like, manticores together, things like that, mm -hmm. um, and they can be anywhere. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Treasure-wise, and the reason why it's dangerous on the high seas, is because you start off with a free ship and a free bridge. So you can immediately go out and start sailing the sub Canaria, Circle Sea, and go wherever you want to within that. You're still going to have to find the canal... But it is there for you to sail to all the locations on the inner sea, except for like the, you know, the volcano area ones that require the river, uh, because no canoe. But options, options. Expect potentially to do a lot of sailing. We're going to have vanilla treasures in our various locations, ice cave ordeals, marsh cave, titan strobe, volcano, canary lock, and marsh lock. So potential double dip of marsh could be there for us tonight. 21 of 21 treasures. So for all those locations, we're going to have the standard progression, plus Mazamoon, Defense, and White Shirt. So turn-ins can be valuable and quite helpful as well. Goal is going to be standard uh, fight a boss. Uh, you will notice no tr uh, shard hunts, no special events, but uh, alternate fighter boss is random. Could be something nasty tonight. We don't know. Yeah, but it will be a short Topher with no Fiend tile, so the only thing you have to worry about when you go into Topher is an Alt Fiend. So, and, um, like, you, 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 you've seen these, uh, some of the Alt Fiends are worse than others. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, <laughs> if you're not prepared for them, you can have a bad time. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's it's a gamble. Uh, luckily, with short Topher and no uh, Fiend tiles... You know, you, you won't uh, invest too much time uh, yeah. running in there to find out what it is. The, the the loss penalty is pretty low at that point. Okay, so we're going to have all the usual earlies, all the usual maps, early progression, northern docks. If you get canal early, that very well could mean you might be sailing over to the Onrek area. Keep that in mind. Scale-wise, it's... um. Pretty much standard for what the extra credits have been doing. A little more difficult than the boot camps have been. Not too bad. Blurst weapons, minus 2 to plus 5. Blurst armor, 3 to 3. Excluded Mazamoon, so when you get that Mazamoon, it's going to be vanilla stats. Party is open. Uh, with 3 Blurses and 1 Malice. So that could... Like, the bonus is this nice. The Malice, though, could do some really weird things, and we're going to see how that works out tonight for this particular party. And then usual conveniences, usual bug fixes, have BB crit rate, and I don't think we have any beta stuff on. We do not. So those are the flags. As usual with the extra credit, very quick uh, run through of these. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in chat. I'm going to let Life Reboots uh, start getting his party together, and we'll start talking about what party he's going to be doing. But feel free to ask your questions at any time in chat, and we'll get to them. Life Reboot, take it away. Thank you very much. So apologies in advance. Um, I did just get an async seed with the same flags. So <laughs> if I get confused at any point during this run, that might be uh, the reason. The danger of running but two seeds keeping... quickly to get it together. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's fine. We'll, we'll have a good time with it. Uh, I, 
I hope that uh, we get some good blurses here. We'll take a look. So yeah, of course, we're going to be just slightly delayed from the life reboot, so 15, 20 seconds, we'll catch up to what they're doing, and we can see what party it is they're going to make. Ooh, that hit percent on that black belt is nice. And get some early thief weapons. It's actually not bad. Fighter strength on the red mage, level one black and an X scal and, and strength on the white. White mage is stacked. Ninja spells on the fighter. Woo! So what are you thinking? Um, I I'm skipping over the black belt. Uh, I think I think that I don't want to just grind some uh, bizarre Fair. place with animizer. Well, you know, the um, the with... tiles are a little bit strange. Mm -hmm. But then again, they're, they're it is clamped bosses, but with that incented mass immune and the uh, the ninja spells on the fighter, I think I'm gonna go fighter, uh, thief, white mage, black mage. I think that's smart. I think I like that plan for you. One, you have a potentially nasty alt final that the black belt may not be able to handle. Like you get fun dead, for example. That is like black, black belt kryptonite right there. And then, as you pointed out, the fact that the tiles are gonna be shuffled, like enemizer wise you don't even know what kind of tiles we're gonna see so you don't know what kind of grind we're gonna get black belt's a little less friendly in this particular one so yeah i fully agree with this pack or this party so yeah whenever you're ready if you want to start her on up we'll get the uh timer going as soon as we see movement all right sounds cool. great Gambit Magus in uh, chat saying pets their emotional support, Agama. We uh, may not see any Agamas today. We don't know like where they're going to be or what they're going to be paired up with. So... And we're at Wealth. Heading off towards Magic. Checking the black first. We've got level one nuke. Wow, that's kind. And that's something... Oh, because of the ninja spells on the fighter and the level one black on the white mage, that is three black magic casters right off the bat. Woo! Well, we rolled a good one. Plus heal three. Yeah, you picked the two best spells there, I think. Golds for 45k? Yeah, this is... This is going to be uh, interesting, though. <laughs> Heels, cabins. Cabins are actually fairly cheap, so getting a little bit of that off, off the bat, that's not bad. And I assume you're going to take the usual thing and go up and kill Garland and get your two freebies from there. Yeah, that's a, mm -hmm. that's a good plan. That's where I will go, and I don't expect to have a lot of trouble with Garland <laughs> with three nukers. No, no, no. no that should be pretty pretty good. An odd eye. Look at that showing up off the sea. See, that's what kind of what we were talking about. Here, can you do a favor for a second and go into your uh, magic when you get a chance? Also got a nice 6k worth of money right there, so that's going to help on the mid game. Oh, never mind. Blaze zombie. Good thing you saved right yeah, outside. Yeah, that blaze is unkind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that lost all that progress you just made. Oh, and your white mage apparently starts with very little in the way of health, too. So, Blaze... So I'm not sure what you're looking for, but I did I did uh, peek at my magic okay. for all my I characters. just wanted to check what the uh, what ninja spells enabled, what the uh, fighter started with. And it's uh, two charges at the first, first level, so they get the, the standard loadout like everyone else does. Okay. Just wanted to confirm that for the ducks. Appreciate it. So yeah, that, uh, like, everyone jokes about scary imps and so forth, but when you see an enemy early on with Blaze, doesn't matter if it's, like, nuke or whatever, uh, a spell like that's gonna kill you. That's just, yeah. And silvery-looking scums. 
Now let's go see what we got with Garland. Nuke. 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 That's no surprise there. Oh, Garlic stood up to it. Not to. <laughs> so with that, we're level yeah, two. Yeah, surprising I didn't take him out in one. I know, right? Well, he he rolled up a pair. Well, he's, I guess you said uh, bosses are clamped and he's a boss. There's our chime. There's our canal. And that means that effectively, aside from a couple of river only spots, uh, we have the entire world open to us. So this is where we're going to see the dangers of the high seas. Yeah, I, I feel pretty good about it with my three nukes, though. Yep. So. <laughs> yep. Now, of course, with uh, ninja spells, I think the fighter's only going to be able to get, like, four charges. But four charges of nuke is still great. That's nothing to complain about there. Especially in the early game. Yep. Looks like you're loading up on all the basic gear you need. Piers, cabins, heels, a house. Cool. Yeah, having having such a good spell on your fighter early on means that your fighter is great in both early and late game. That's wow, that's <laughs> beefy sharks. And level four already. That means that when we get our level two spells, we're gonna have charges to cast them, whatever they may be. And we are now on to Provoka. Not even saving, just gonna yep. go straight to the pirates. Pirates being a boss, they don't yes. get enemized. And of, of course, you, if you see it, my thief is gonna attack first when I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, of course <laughs> he is. Nuke him down. Of course he is. Game loves to waste time, doesn't it? But pirates only have like max like 12 HP. They're gonna die to that nuke. We'll get the loot, which lets us in. Well, it's short it's tofers. Dud, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's well, it is right now. If we had these flags for the next boot camp in like six months, I believe they just introduced into beta that uh, short tofer on its own will actually feature a lock and the loot plate. So you'd actually have to clear those out before you could uh, move into the short tofer itself. But here, yeah, it's a dud in all respects, except for the fact that you get. Extra, uh, like extra experience, but that was a nice boodle. Right. Yeah, you just bought it. The boodle of iron armor you just got. Yeah, that um, uh, oh, short tofer has for a long time meant that you don't need the yep. key or the loot, so uh, it's going to be a big adjustment. Um, oh yeah. Now we're sort of like considering short tofer to be like compressed tofer where yeah. you still have the requirements unless you change them. Yep. So we got uh, Bane and Ice 3 there and about the best thing we saw here was Harm 4. Like, until Dark is actually a scary spell, Lamp is not worthwhile. But um, Harm 4 is based, like, so if you watch the Time for Learn series from Lord Fizzleby, you have Nuke, and then you have the White Magic of Fade, which is like Poor Man's Nuke. And then you have Harm 4, which does fade level damage, but only to the undead, making it poor man's poor man's. So, like, having Harm 4 on a character just in case, because, you know, you may run across an undead pack and you just want to kill it off, not bad to have, but it's not the most useful spell. And since we have the money and opportunity to go to the various places, we're going to go see what Elfland has. You can see right there, Anamizer. Grogers there, instead of the standard ogres with creeps. So yeah, you never know quite what is going to be at any of the locations. All you know is that the enemies themselves will not be remade, since we only have one of the two Anamizer songs. Brack here at the level 3 magic, what, black magic shop. That's an obvious buy, since we don't have alt fiends on. Just alt final and fade, as if your white mage didn't have enough awesome magic already. Yeah, I was actually hoping for something like warp or exit, but I am very happy with showed up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, invis two, also a great spell. There's your defense right there, along with the defense and the 
white shirt I assume you're going to end up with. Quad X, Lightning 3, Fast. These have been some pretty darn solid levels, all things considered. Very nice spread of magic here at the early levels. Yeah, magic is turning out very generous this uh -huh. seed. Um, I didn't I didn't have the funds for Invis 2, but I will definitely be back for that. Yeah. Well, and yeah, like... Y nope. Oh, Blizzard. Yeah, you saved, of course, though, so you're fine. But that's good to know the undead there. And land Caribs. I was going to say the, um... In Viz 2, you might think isn't necessary because you got a white shirt and a defense sword. But you never know just how slappy one of the alt, fi alt fiends may be. And every bit of defense you can throw on there is worthwhile. A white mage spitting out on Viz 2 along with someone using a white shirt and someone else using the defense sword might just be the difference between getting slapped down or actually surviving a round or two of combat against a particularly nasty alt fiend. Sometimes you just have to prepare for anything. And we're going into March, because we did know that there are two different incentives here, and actually, if we're lucky, the key is here, and we can check both of them at once. Goodbye, white mage, or black mage. Your time on this world was too short. <laughs> and since you're here, of course, checking treasure, because you want gear for your fighter and money to spend. Ooh, copper minus one. I mean, it's something for your white mage, at least. When we know that there's golds, what, plus two or three that were sitting in that area, that's, those are your eventual buys. Trolls! Let's see how trolly the trolls are. Not trolly enough to survive a nuke. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Level six on your three heroes. And the key, so you can go check. Look at that. It's almost like I, I, I know how this game yeah, operates. That's that's a very convenient find. Yeah. And, uh... It's, it's going to be nice not needing to double dip here. It's just a matter of, can I get out of here? Yep. And you can see we have a, uh, the... Ooh, ah, wow. That was a nasty crit right there. But thankfully you have nuke on your fighter, and I'm sure you'll be fine. So that is, that is something to point out right here. You see how... Oh, the herbs. You can take that right back. Wow, this has been, like, perfect routing here for this Marsh game. So... You had trolls there at the wizard tile. You have trolls again here at... I don't even know what that that default tile is, because it's always something different when I play and I never pay attention. I know, the, an ambushing nine creep pack. That's something you won't see, but good money. Uh, so the tiles themselves are going to be, like, shuffled up and weird, and you're going to see strangeness everywhere. So trolls at two different spots, you wouldn't expect them. That's, again, just part of it. But level 8 for two heroes and a good chunk of money. And I I, I agree with you, try, like, killing down that pack, because that's some good early game levels right there. Ooh, poison touch. Lovely. Yeah, well, this, this, this fighter is just going to carry... Oof. Very nasty little pack of the encounter table right here, though. It's like, what was it, five encounters in a short period of time? That's just gross. Yeah, I think uh, the, in the encounters are something like 0.7 or 0.8. That makes uh, sense. So it's a little bit, a little bit heavy in the dungeons, but uh, not bad. Yeah. And I, it, it's times like these I like bringing along the thief. Uh, mm -hmm. They run. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, we're, we're like, the, the extra credits are, like, partially mirroring the main weeks. So, since the the uh, normal encounter rate is going up in, 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 the main, in the main week's lessons, then we're also upping it here. Shocking Hyenas. Requiring another reset, and then we are moving on to the, or, ooh, the Shadow. Was this, was, no, it was the Ghoul that had the, the Blaze. Shadows had Blizzard, just as bad. Okay. Thanks, Gabe. Trucking on along. 
just trying to get through the encounter table so we can get back to Elfland. Now that I have some funds, I'm mm -hmm. pick up that invis too. Totally. Makes perfect sense. Have we... We haven't found the shop item yet, have we? Oh, we've got items. I, I'm a terrible tracker. Every time. Okay, so we've got... Herb. And the canal. And we got the key and the chime and the loot. Okay, I think we're good. I think we got us caught up. No harm, no foul. And the herb wakes the sleeping prince, and we end up with the ruby. Well, actually, that's also not bad routing. You're, you're in the area. Yeah, since we got the canal, and we have uh, Titan's Trove incentivized, mm -hmm. I'm going to head over there. Yeah. Uh, get myself uh, two two more incentives at Sarda and Titan. Game is being incredibly kind this time. I fear just how bad that alt final boss is going to be. <laughs> because it always feels like when the game gives you good luck early on, it makes you pay for it in the back end. Final Fantasy Randomizer, give it and take it away. So I'm guessing you have the uh, fun enemy colors on. No, that is actually a consequence of Enemizer. Wow, okay. Glad I asked. You can see how often I play with Enemizer. It's, it's one of those flags that's fun to put in there, but like, it's not a tournament standard flag, so at least not main tournament. If you start playing Iron Gall or something, totally expect to see things like that. Silver's minus one aren't bad, certainly better than the uh, copper that we had. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a blow-off level for the most part. Lock might be useful, but Lock 2 would have been better. And Life 2. Hey, at least it's Life 2. Sadly, is that White Mage locked? I think it was Slap 3. And yeah. to be honest with you, Dark Moon, I don't remember any I don't of the either. learnable slots or not. I finally managed to remember that Slot 3 Black is uh, locked. But I can't remember on the White Mage what is it isn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same way. And, and the thing is, is it, it used to be something that I planned on memorizing. Yeah. But then we uh, we gained the shop information yep. uh, development uh, bonus. <laughs> and now I now I basically never need to learn it. Nope. Like, it's a great skill to have. I'm not going to pay attention. It's fine. I'll just wait for my people to throw their hands in the air. <laughs> there we go. So now we can go check the, the incentivized Titan's Trove. Opal plus three, nice for when you have your uh, knight promoted. And the adjament, so still more good routing. You haven't seen the last of it <laughs> <laughs> in a few seconds. I look forward to this. And Monsieur Sarda has for us the TNT, of course. Of course. Wow, game. Could this... Like, it, it feels almost linear, the direction the game wants you to go. Yes, this is a very uh, linear seed so far, yeah. and very kind. Um, very I'm, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the thing. When you're only running it by yourself, a linear seed is great, because you don't have to worry about... You know, like, Honestly, you don't have to worry too much about thinking. You just keep following where the game tells you, and just hope you don't have to sail the high seas too bad. A whiz say hack. I mean, it's only on their own, but that's a decent early game experience. Well, I thought it was. Apparently it wasn't. How sad. Gonna get that life too if we can. And they can! Look at that! Excellent! So... Because I can't afford it, 
Um, I'm gonna actually sell my opal bracelet. No, that makes sense. Um, the the way I see it, I might not be promoting this. Uh, oh yeah. Depending on if I find the tail. Yeah. So um, I think that the thing to do is go ahead and get a uh, ruse, and not worry about my opal armor yet. Yep. I get you. And it's just the bracelet. I mean, or the uh, armlet. There, there's a good chance you'd fight, like, the power bomb or something else, so that's not the end of the world there. So we're going over to Dwarf Cave since we have the Dwarf Double Pack right here. Gonna let both Narek and Beardy McBeard Sword have their uh, prizes and find out what we're gonna get from them next, and also see what's here at the, uh, the double chest. And are you gonna check the Dwarf Armory as well? Uh, I I didn't. Uh, now that you mention it, I probably probably should have. Yeah. But I'm I'm far far away now, so. I'm no, not you're going fine. To. You're fine. Yeah, that is the, the the sad part about being 20 seconds ahead of us, basically. But the white shirt's a nice pickup, and the floater. So yeah, you um. Well, you're free to go wherever now, you want what's now. What's interesting is, is without the uh, without the floater dock, yeah. I actually still need the canoe. You do. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. No canoe. I'm so used so, to spring tournament. Even when I said we don't have the canoe, I'm just so used to the I canoe. It, I think it must be over in uh, Crescent Lake. I think that might be the only other place I can go. Um, yeah, you can dock at Crescent Lake. You can't get the waterfall. You can't... Let me go look at the flag -roos. We got... Locations. Yeah, you can't get the volcano. Did oh, you, you know check? What? Uh, I think I, I think I didn't do Canary a lot. That so was the one I was going to ask you. Lake, yep. If it's not in Crescent Lake, then we have to go back. Yep. Yeah, but with the way that this seed laid out, you're pretty much going to need that uh, canoe to be able to finish it out one way or the other. I don't think you can go canoeless here. See, spring tournament. You really want to go to that river because it's a better dock, isn't it? Yeah, that's a force of habit. Yup. Ooh, blazing zombie D right there. He was very scary looking. And now we're off towards the sages and also to see if no vendor item here. Okay. So that means that we're looking at potentially on rack area that we'd have to sail to for the vendor item, but it can't be the canoe. I don't think the canoe could be vendor. Well, here's the canoe. There we go. Okay, never mind. Thinking that thing out. Okay, so with canoe. Oh, and we had both TNT and the adamant. No, that's not the other adamant. And the floater. And now the canoe. Cool. Well, the world is open to us completely. Except for a couple dungeons. So what we're looking for at this point is cube, oxyale, and rod. And at that point, we are go whenever we want to be. Sphinx Manticore, there's some experience. Kill this. And yeah, yeah. It, it feels it feels pretty good uh, finding all of these uh, the the fast route to the air here. Yeah, about as direct a route to the air as you could get with a canalless game, a uh, canalless start. So, Volcano's already on the table. We're just looking to unlock Earth, Sky, and Sea. Gonna do Canary Lock right now and see where this takes us. Another Iron Toboggan, a Wooden Helmet, some Claw. 1,200 gold. The Rod, that's two dungeons open to us now. And the house. Empty. So, now we are looking at... We've got Ice Cave open, and we're right nearby. Ordeals is open, and we can go there. Volcano is incentivized, so we could go there as well. All the incentives are available to us. Where do you think you're, you're going to Earth Cave? Is this to see what's at the Hall of Giants? I wanted to take a peek at what the... Uh what the tiles have yeah. and maybe consider you know with my few nukers um maybe consider going into uh oh. 
Kill Lich. Just while but you're it here. Feels bad. Yeah, ambush sphinx wasn't so kind. Oh look, wizards! Now we found them after after we oh with damage of course. Okay. Yeah. So I decided I decided that I didn't like that. <laughs> Yeah, you know, um, I think you made the right call there. <laughs> I think I think the game was trying to tell me to leave. So. <laughs> Earth cave, no bueno. <laughs> you got a very clear signal right there. Oh, look, more wizards. They're they're back. They're back. Uh, troll, werewolf, girl. This is an interesting pack. Like, not yeah, dangerous. Yeah, I decided I, I would just kill them. Yeah, um, no, I get I think that. I'm gonna hit the volcano. Yeah, I get but, you. Um, I I need some like residual levels mm -hmm. to kind of help through the uh, volcano since I I can't warp or exit. Yeah, um, no, you still can't. So I may just may just sort of uh. Take a peek with clamped bosses. Um, I'm actually sort of scared to go all the way down to carry, carry uh, even scary. with a three nukes. Right. That that might not be enough. Yeah. And yeah, as pointed out, the boss HP is clamped. The boss stats themselves are not. But five fifty to two hundred percent. That's a hundred percent average for the bosses. But it's 158% average for their HP, 100 to 250%. So, Carrie could roll pretty high up, and Carrie isn't a pushover normally in the game anyway. So. Oh, look at Agama. Hooray! A uh, beefy Agama. Less hooray. Agama's been taking lessons from Garland in this seat, apparently. Mage check plus four, that's a nice pickup. I love that item magic. Uh, uh, it gives the thief something to do, you know, he he hasn't had anything equipped all game. Yep. So are you skipping the Grey Worm tile or are you going back for it? I'm I'm deciding that I'll I'll do it. Okay. And the Thor Hammer, wow. Well, now all of your uh, team members can be most productive mammals. Oh, well, oh, it's the images. It's not lizard images or anything. Hopefully. We will see how this goes. Good enough, apparently. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and save this uh, mm -hmm. treasury, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. try diving volcano, because it's incentivized. Um, I guess it's worth the, the dive. Yeah. I think I have uh, enough heal pots, uh, about fifty, and then I have the the heal three. Yeah. So I should be okay to to run down there. I mean, um, in theory. And then I just hope that. Yeah, I hope that um, you know I I don't waste time here, needing to double get the incentive item yeah i was gonna say in theory if you keep the if you put the white shirt on the thief and you use the thief to try and get your defense up your evade up and then just go to the to nuke town with your other three characters as long as you can serve enough of the nukes i think carrie will fall to that all right we're on the same page then i think uh we'll mm -hmm. give it a try yeah this is a good this is the kind of gutsy play I'd make in, like, a spring tournament or something, and it would work, like, 50% of the time. <laughs> Frost I like Frost Giants in the Fire Cave. They're, they're not Frost Giants, they're Fire Giants, right. Yes. It's a, it's a minus two, but an ice sword's still an ice sword. Yeah, just in case I run out of the nukes, uh, yep. I still have something to swing. Yep. I don't think the fighter's gonna run out of nukes because uh, yeah. I'm sort of preserving them, but... No, but that's... that's uh, oh, and the wizard staff, so now you can 
confused, curious. Well, it's a nice pickup just insofar as, yeah, as you said, on the off chance that Carrie decides to annihilate your the rest of your party before they can cast all their nukes and annihilate her, uh, you still can like try and get his defense up high enough that he can just whole day in freights to, to kill Carrie. Gonna check the Agamatile. <sighs> or Hydrants. I mean, those are, like, if they have a nasty spell, they, they can be some tough sometimes, but they are also a decent amount of experience because the uh, Red Hydrants in a pack is like a sky level worthy uh, monster set. I agree. Um, with my limited heal pots, yeah. and I, I'm just I'm nervous about the. Uh, yeah. I'm nervous about the uh, fight with Carrie. I'm yep. not going to take any of those fights, but I do no. agree. The uh, red yeah. hydrants, as they're called, is definitely a crystal pick to take on circumstances. It's yeah. just I don't want to lose no, any progress. Good. I get you. And I like the R hydras followed by the regular hydras. Yeah, it's Hydra City in Volcano today. <laughs> now, is it Hydra City or Hydrocity? If we want to get oh, the... Uh, hello. Uh, <laughs> get, get the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog players involved in here so we can start a fight with them. <laughs> Alright, so we'll see how, what Carrie does to me. Um, we'll do the white shirt like uh, you were suggesting on the Thief. Mm -hmm. Get everyone's evasion up and uh, hopefully take her down. Yes. Let us hope for the best here. Nuke, nuke, nuke. Carrie, of course, has pretty decent magic defense, so she she very often will just shrug off spells. Remember playing the vanilla game and just seeing her not care about anything I was doing. Uh, doesn't necessarily punch too hard, but this this is this is already starting to feel like oh never mind. Just this is already starting to feel like a slog, and then you got a really good nuke roll in, and that took care of that. And we, away we go, with a crystal in hand. I assume we're, yeah, doing that turn in next. The sooner we can be done with our turn ins, the better, I'm guessing. And there's the Serab. That is not what we want to see. Nope, not translated yet. There we go. Yeah, that, that'll steer me back towards Earth Cave, and since I did uh, defeat Carrie, yeah. I figure, you know, now I'm going to be back in the area to translate my slab. Yeah, I will go ahead and uh, kill Lich. Kill Lich and hopefully not have to deal with too many wizards. Get the translate thing out of the way first. Did you check the level 6 magic? Did I miss it? Have we found an exit or a warp yet, even if we can't buy it just yet? The warp was level 6, and okay. it was expensive. I think it was 12 grand, Okay. and I did not have it. So I think that um, we'll, we'll take a look at that. I don't know if I have any charges of uh, mm -hmm. level 6 magic yet on my black mage, but... Um, I think I think I do want it just to make short work of Ice Cave. Ice Cave and Odeals, yeah, I feel you on that. Oh look, wizards. It's like, hey guys, thanks for joining the party. Ah, oh, that thief doing work. All right, we lit the fire orb. There we go. Level Groker, not a bad pack. Like, mid-game experience, not terrible. And you can see here, the Animizer has made the, uh, the packs here in Earth just a little bit nastier, not even counting the wizards. Uh, Ocho as well, which is definitely a uh, water cave level enemy for the river system over there. Oh, quad Exable, though. That was a good guess. Um, so... Get, get, when you come into a dungeon like this, be prepared to see enemies because of an endomizer that are much more difficult than you were expecting. I mean, Earth Cave is not a pushover to begin with, but an Earth Cave with endomizer turned on can get pretty nasty.
nuke the vampire, he falls down, hi vampire, bye vampire, and the characters are getting yeah, up to Yeah, I, I ran into a very nice uh, area well, on the encounter table you did. as well there. I don't yeah. know if you noticed. I, that was, I was nice just look. able to cruise through that uh, vampire. Yeah. You got you got up to most of, I think most of that floor was just enemy free. It was great. Unfortunately, I think it then gets balanced out by, uh, what, three or four in a row here in this portion of the encounter table from what we saw at March Game. Yeah, you are, you are correct. Yeah. It, it, it's, so, it's so constant that I'm getting a little bit lost as to where I am on the floor. Yeah. So yeah, that's something that you should do. The, keep an eye on when you're playing through these scenes and these flags, the extra credit, that's what the extra credits train you for, as well as the main boot camp. Learn things like keeping an eye on if there, there you go, there's where you got lost. Keeping an eye on how the encounter table plays out when you're in a dungeon. Notice when you get a pack of, a set of packs back to back to back, because that can help tell you where you are in the encounter table. If it's early enough, you can just try and scub them off before you even go into the dungeon. Things like that will help improve your time and also just make getting through some of these dungeons nicer. I agree. And he looks like we're heading off towards Lich and... Oh, hey, look, an actual Earth Cave enemy in an Earth Cave-style pack, Cobras. Not, you know, I mean, they're not yeah, usually so on this floor, long. but still, this seems kind of vanilla-ish. French vanilla. As long as uh, Lich doesn't have anything super nasty, uh, yep. this should be uh, a win. There's yeah. there's no reason yeah. with three nukers that I shouldn't be able to win this. Three nukers and a mage stick, which he's also weak to. Dark is not going to affect your spellcasters in the slightest. The fact that he survived an entire round shows the power of the clamps, but yeah, there goes Lich. You're 13, 14 across the board. Not bad at all. And again, bear in mind that the end the bosses are clamped, but we only have a short Topher with just the alt chaos sitting in it right now. So the levels that you may need to finish out this seed are probably going to be different than like spring tournament or some iron gall seeds or something else. Level 13 and 14 is probably still low, but I would be honestly like I'd be surprised if you took a real grind at this point. Pro rings for a nice cheap price. Well, cheap-ish. You got the money. That's what you got. Yeah, the only thing that's nervous, nerve-wracking about spending on those pro rings is I have not bought my uh, shop item yet. Oh, so yeah, I no. I don't know what that is. Missing that, too. Or how expensive it will be. Yep. But pro rings are great, so I'm just going to get them. Yep. And yeah, you nailed that 12-ish grand right there for that warp. Level 13, I don't think you've got a warp charge yet. So it looks like we're cruising on over to the on-rack area, gonna... You checking Oasis first? I am not. Okay. Um, I I should. Yeah. But I'm, I'm I'm diving into waterfall and I don't think I have a warp charge like you said. Yeah. And I see if it's something that I need or uh, will toss. Uh, <laughs> I think at this point it's it's either like the mass immune or the tail. Um, that like are the optional stuff, but pass I mean, I'm I'm not gonna turn my nose up at. Ooh, poison gray room. So, so I'm getting the feeling that poison is on the Medusa script. 
Wow, just risking it and going in without even a save. Cross Giant Kaizuku. That is a fun pack right there. Punchy Gasties. So I'm guessing since you aren't really, like, saving and you're not really healing, you're kind of hoping that it's a throwaway item and you're just going to exit out without, like, actually saving or trying to get the item back out? Yeah, I was thinking, like, there's potential for duds, but I don't I don't know if that's totally true. <laughs> I um, just know that there are uh, things that I might not need, uh, but I, I now that I realize it, I already had the loot and the key. And I think I already have the white shirt, so uh, it's going to be something I need, so I did this wrong. Well, there's still lurking out there the... Double-checking so I can speak properly. Defense Sword, the Mazamoon, and the Tail. And if you don't care about class changing, Tail is a dud. This turned into the place to come. Uh... You'll see in just a second. The cube, yeah, 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 had to be here. And the ribbon, and an Aegis shield, and a heel helm. Not bad gear at all. And another, another heel helm. Wow. So I think that's pretty much like healing for every single one of your characters. Like, oh, and another ribbon. Yes. So oh! this was worth this was worth the trip. Um, I was yeah. not planning that. No, but uh, I'll take it. So yeah. I don't think I have to open any more boxes. No, this was definitely worth the price of admission right here. Shark. Your sharks don't want to die. And the double Gur shark is actually a very good grind tile. It's just in mm -hmm. a very inconvenient spot. It is. Power of that ribbon right there. The frost just rolls right off you without even being a big deal. Oh, sandworms. Yeah, I know. I saw that they were uh, not quad Xable, but this dungeon has some really good monsters in it. Sandworms and Gatsbys and... Oh, Frost Giants we don't care about. But the other ones, like, this is almost one of those ones where you kind of want to, like, save right outside the dungeon entrance and scum some fights off of there to, like, get your grind going that way, if you were going to. I still don't know that with the... The, the way this the seed is or flag set is set up that you really need to grind. Yeah, it, it really all depends on the alt final boss. Mm -hmm. And we can, like I said, we can take a peek at it yep. um, once we have the orbs and then decide, do we need to promote? Do we need to grind? What do yep. we need to do? Yep. Oh, we got cube. I need to mark that off. So we are honestly literally just one item away from go mode at this point. Uh, and yeah, like... It is going to be interesting to see. Like, if you end up with a decent alt final, uh, I don't know, double dragons, for example, or whack a chaos, a whack a garland, I think you actually probably will be just fine. Fun Dead, I think, could probably rip this party to shreds. Don't forget to check. Uh, it's out of there. there you go. You're on it. So, does that mean the uh, shop items like Gaia or Gaia? I believe that is true. Yeah, because Lefane just has a duplicate shop. If Lefane, if Lefane's hospitality is even on. Guess I can go check. And I do have the flags uh, right Lefane's here. Lefane's hospitality puts a... Uh, does not put an item shop in it. I thought it did. It puts a... Uh, just a clinic and an inn? Uh, what's it okay. called? Clinic. clinic yes. Yeah, clinic and an inn. Okay. And the Mazamoon. Well, that's lovely. 
Gonna help with those double drags. And back, um, back away we go. Still have Ice Cave and Ordeals on the table. Ooh, that's an interesting pack right there as well, the Wyvern Kareeds. Oh, that explains why they are, um, the colors are weird. Okay, so this is ephemera for the game itself, but the, the enemies have to exist within, like, certain shared sprite sets. And so when the Enemizer does what it does, it has to realign, realign talents and other things to make everything work within the constraints of the game itself. So that's part of the reason why everything looks wonky is because Enemizer is just trying to make everything work. And that Mazumin's already doing work right there. Thank you, Mazumin. Now, I don't know if this is the smartest ja uh, thing to do or not. I have Brack Charges. I'm deciding to... Yeah. I've got the items for Sky. I, there's no incentive item here. There's a chance to run into Warmech on the bridge. Um, I'd still do it. I, I am not totally comfortable with this due to the clamping on uh, Tiamat's HP. Mm -hmm. no, I'd, but I I'd still, still think that uh, with the Mass Immune... Um, the ability to cast fast on myself as the fighter, mm -hmm. uh, white shirt and brack. I think I'm, I think I'm okay. Yeah, the only downside is you're coming in here in such a way that you need to conserve your charges. So there's a lot of good packs that you saw: the air perilisks, the waters, some of these other ones that you're just kind, of, you're having to run away from. So some of the experience you might have gotten here is you, you just can't get, sadly. But the dungeon isn't incentivized. We don't even check that. Oh, Tyro Cobra. That like the Cobra is just disposable. But Tyro Cobra, I'd take the double Tyro. Oh, and I've got it because it's unrunnable. Oh yeah, and and it died real easy. That was that was gorgeous. I'd take some more of those. <laughs> Speaking of. <laughs> okay, game. Thanks. And yeah, when they fall over to, like, a weak nuke cast, that's not bad at all. Oh, and unrunnable worms. Apparently the game heard me and really wanted you to get some experience. Hey, there's our eye. I'd totally fight that. Yeah. <laughs> there it goes, and it's gone. Delicious, delicious experience all around. Honestly, all things considered, the the back to back to back unrunnable packs that was the kind of grind you wanted, and ooh, more eyes. Yeah, they're unrunnable, but I don't think you'd complain about that at all. You've gone from like 15 to 19 in this dungeon. It's great. Yeah, this is paying off. It really if I is. I just get through team now. Now, I see you running from the Gurnaga. I can't necessarily blame you, but Gurnagas are a great experience. So we're going with the Mazda Moon hit. Uh, two hits, 166. Gonna get that Invis going. I also saw the uh, Thief is gonna throw out some more Invis and a Brack. Go see if we Brack. Ineffective. Fire 2. Not scary to Fork Titans. Gonna be a little scary to the Mages, but that's okay for right now. White Shirt gets the extra buff up. We're gonna see if Tiamat ever punches. White Shirt comes out again. Further buffs the party. That's three rounds down there. Fate comes out. 115. Fast. 
from the fighter on himself. And Breck comes out broken into pieces. That's all they wrote right there. Tiamat is down. That was a very fast, clean oh, yeah, sky, and we got a lot of experience. Uh, I'm going to head straight to uh, Ice Cave, because uh, now we should have enough chargers to warp. Don't forget that we we still haven't seen the vendor item, have we? Oh, you're right. So this, uh, this could be a misstep, but uh, we'll do that next if this is not what we need. Yep. Just need that Oxio. And basically, we're on a chain at this point that's gonna that can lead to defense, tail, or oxail. That's the, those are the three outstanding items that we have. Stun touch on me, these can't blame you for running from that. And considering like that you're like what level sixteen or seventeen now, you should have at least that one warp charge you want. make this check a lot easier. It's nice to see that the Sphinxes are no longer ambushing. Hey, two warp charges. Even better. The bottle. Well, I guess it's a good thing we didn't go to Gaia, because if a uh, shop item... Uh, the shop item has to be there, but now if it's not Oxiel, we can still check and see what the bottle turns into. You got like a... Yeah, that was... That was maybe a, a incorrect order of operations, and yet uh, it seems to have paid off. So this... This seed is just rewarding me left and right whether yep. I'm doing things linearly or not. Yeah, because now you have a 66% chance that you're on the Oxiel path. The only way it doesn't work out is if the path you're looking for starts at Ordeems. That's pretty much it. We're coming in here. We don't need to check any of the shops because we got all the gear we want. We're gonna find the item, and it is the Oxio. Okay, so yeah. So you, we didn't really need the bottle. You're not gonna, you're not even gonna bother seeing what it is. I am gonna see what it is. I need to sell something to afford the Oxio. Ah, okay, cool. I didn't see what your money was, but good call. And that wizard staff was super good for that. I mean, it's useful this was already gone because Carrie's dead, so. So now, with bottle in hand, we release the fairy and find out what they have, and they have the defense. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, that pretty much the only quest chain left starts at Ordeals and leads to Tail. I don't think you care. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we might need levels, but we're going to just okay. go ahead and kill Kraken. And yep. we we're going to find out what the boss is, and yep. then that will kind of dictate what we do from there. Yep. I agree with all of that. So we are on our way back to Onrak. Sadly, a double dip of this, but considering that the... Uh, like, I think you might have been able to avoid the double dip if you'd just gone to Gaia and picked up the Oxiel, but I don't think you really had the levels necessarily to survive a Sea Shrine dive at the time you were here. So... That's true. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not sure that um, I would have been able to afford it. I, I don't know if I had Pro Rings at the time. I don't mm -hmm. remember, but... Yeah. I'm not disappointed with the uh, way that things turned out. That nope. uh, that waterfall uh, dip with all the gear in there, the yep. two ribbons especially, um, ended up being very uh, very worthwhile. Super nice, yeah. Yeah, like the the, the gear you have on your fighter isn't necessarily the best because he's just rocking armor, uh, iron armor and an iron shield. I think plus four, but like at the same time, depending upon how, how bad the all final boss is, that may not be like all that big a deal what your armor is.
flame sword plus one. I think the the relative damage values between the two makes the ice minus and the flame plus almost equivalent. That's that's me trying not to do math on Twitch, but almost doing it all the same. <laughs> <laughs> Like, let's just go with gut instinct and say yes. <laughs> Ooh, beefy chimeras. Ooh, punchy chimeras. Yeah, they're unrunnable and they're uh, they're packing some HP. They're little tanks right there. Yeah, dang. But they are full of delicious experience, so. Oh, God, this. That's not a pack. Our and kilos plus a guard. Thank you, no. I I think we're good. So if you're just tuning in right now, this is uh, Dangers of the High Seas, a seed that is or a flag set that could very well make you sail around for a while, trying to figure out the path you're going to have to deal with, while as you see. Animizer gives you all kinds of new enemy packs in weird locations. This particular flag, or this particular seed, was actually fairly linear, and Life Reboot got into the air fairly early, and it was also very kind, essentially giving him three nuke casters right off of level one. But it's it's presented a few interesting challenges along the way as well. Animizer is definitely a lot more scary if you don't get an early nuke. Yeah. Uh, you don't really know what you're up against. Well, and like a pack like this, Man Cats plus an Elemental plus Geist, that's just a weird pack that, like, could potentially land any number of skills in your. S okay. Thanks. Th 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 thanks, R. Ankylos. Woo! That, that's what we were saying right there about being scary. The sudden R Ankylo ambush. You're like, no. <laughs> Kraken actually feels kind of kind by comparison. <laughs> so we're gonna get our buffing going out. White shirt immediately. That's helpful. Thank you, Thief. And an Invis 2, White Mage following up. Good times back to back. And a defense sword now we're really cooking. And the brat comes out. Ineffective. Kraken still managing to punch for 106. Gonna fast up, gonna white shirt gonna invis too, and gonna continue bracking. Brack comes out, broken into pieces once again. There we go with that. That is four fiends down, and with a short tofer and a single boss waiting for us, we are now good to go. Yep, we got our four orbs lit, which will grant us access to short tofer. Yep. And like I was saying, the alternate uh, fiends, or I'm sorry, the uh, the fiend tiles are disabled. Yep. So we can take a look to see what the alt final boss is. And just play it from there. Yeah, it's there's a there's a decent run off of the encounter table. I think once you burn off a couple packs, so it's it's actually a fairly low cost of investment to find out just what might be down at the alt final boss and see whether or not we can take them on. And here we go. We are right outside the Temple of Feats, and we are going to see whether or not this admittedly low-level party is able to take out a single boss. Well, boss pack. And there's gear there, too. You can check if you really need to. Garland, Garland, Garland. Attack. Ah, double dragons. Okay, so. I think, yeah. Prepare for punches and see what happens. White shirt comes out. First round of evasion up. Defense, three rounds up on the fighter and the fast. Stun fails, invis, so that's four ticks on the fighter. Two ticks across everyone else. And that may be the only ticks they're going to get because, well, I guess the beat is still here. Already missing all the punches, but one of the two bosses has, has spells that they like to use. But Carrie's already gone, and it looks like the Tiamat is the one that's punchy. Uh, the Knight is now fully buffed. Oh, but oof. 
no damage there on that one, and we don't have a way of... I don't even think we found Temper. There, six hits, uh, 317, that's better to see. Heal Stick comes out, gonna try and get the healing back up. Keep that fighter maintained, like that. Six hits for 292, another heal round. Lightning 2 is gonna balance out the healing, but that's fine. We can do a give and take here, as long as Tiamat doesn't do anything scary. Four hits, 153, more, or 59. More healing. Trying to maintain. Two hits for 47, 47, not what we want to see. Thankfully, the Bane just plinks off and actually gives us a free round there. More healing. Ice 3, get to balance out some of that healing, but that's okay. Five hits for 111. Uh, of course, the Thief only has one job at this point, and that's to heal. Four hits for 121. Fire 3. Still managing to maintain. Haven't seen a nuke. Haven't seen a nuclear. If we're lucky, that won't be there. And we don't have to worry about it. Tiamat dies. And with that, we have taken out the alt final boss of Double Dragons. Yeah, that was... Life Reboot, that was pretty much the perfect boss for you to face right there. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> um, it's, it's a nice... Uh... It's a nice, relaxing uh, fight compared to maybe the Fun Dead or Warmack yeah. and Friends. Not as uh, as dangerous as some of the others. Yeah, I think if we'd seen the uh, Fun Dead, we would have probably gone for... Uh, I would have encouraged the uh, the three-encounter up-front waterfall grind just to see what we got there, because yeah. I think there were a couple think, of gaspies. I think you're right. The waterfall yeah. uh, encounters were very generous, so mm -hmm. we could have... Uh, gotten some nice levels in there uh, yep. maybe consider going for uh the tail which would have been through ordeals yep but um we definitely needed levels if yeah. it was going to be a different boss we lucked out and that's that's why we played it the way that we did yeah no i i 100 agree the and that's that's something about reading the flags right there and seeing what's available because uh when you when you see flags like this, it's it's all front-loaded, the evil that is Final Fantasy Randomizer, but then the back half, because of a short Topher with no extra fiend tiles, that changes the dynamic with the levels you are you need, the gear you need, whether or not promotion, all the things that we were discussing while this seat flag was going on. So it really does pay to understand, like, the long game on flags like this or any other flags you may pay, uh, play. Don't just expect you're always going to have to go to, like, 26 or 32 for your levels. Because a, fl a fl seed like this, especially with this particular alt final, totally wouldn't have called for it. That was that would have been overkill here. Overkill is fun. Overkill is not necessary. So. Yeah, so if if you had taken a black belt this seed, I think mm -hmm. you would have been really punished. Yeah, um, I think you would have struggled. Like, because, you would have... The, because... The, go ahead. The, the, power, the power of the black belt really relies on finding some... Uh, good grind spots. Mm -hmm. It's not impossible with Animizer, but yeah. I want to say it's sort of unlikely. Yeah. I think like you have to play it seed to seed to figure it out. I think the if you had a black belt here, you probably would have ended up settling for that waterfall grind again, uh, which actually would have worked out a little better with the Mazumun that was lurking there. Uh, no, Mazumun wasn't there. Mazumun was... Meh, yeah, whatever. Uh, but the problem is, of course, the fact that you have to actually like, survive that long to make the waterfall grind work, and who knows, the the two nuke casters you would have had with you potentially would have helped, but I think because the the fighter ended up having nuke at level one, uh, it was better all around for the fighter, and I think with Enemizer, the black belt just gets balanced out in that regard, no matter what. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, as a quick review for the flags, um, just... With short Topher, alternate final boss, no um, fiend tiles, it's kind of like an interesting scenario where the key and the loot um, and some of the other items that, you know, I did end up picking up the white shirt, the defense, uh, I didn't get the tail, yep. but it's it's possible to get these uh, flags done really fast, uh -huh. um, because, and depending on the boss, um, you know, you can you can get there without a lot of the incentive items, and you can maybe luck out like I did and have a relatively easy final ball. Yeah, I mean, if if Fun Dead had been here, we could have been looking at an hour and a half, hour hour forty five seed. But because it was double dragons, and you got like all the good incentive gear you could, 
you managed to do it in a uh, sub hour, so. Not bad. All right, so if there's any other questions, now is time chat to ask them. Uh, I will answer them after I do my little outro right here, but if you liked what you saw, want to see more, interested in the game itself, you can go to FinalFantasyRandomizer.com. We have links to the Discord and the Development Discord right there. We are in the middle of our Duckling Boot Camp. This is week five, extra credit. Three more weeks to go, and it's still plenty of time for you to join up and be a part of the the learning and the fun. All of our lessons are available on YouTube via the Final Fantasy Randomizer channel, which you can get a link to from the Discord. I think we can also pop a link up here in the chat here in Twitch itself. Uh, go back, check out the lessons, maybe practice a few of them. Learn from what we've done. Get yourself ready. You can join up and be a part of the Duck Derby and have a grand old time with it. And then, of course, be a part of the community and see all the other great things we have on offer. We want you to be a part of Final Fantasy Randomizer. It's a great game, and we'd love for you to come and join it. Um, so I don't see any other questions coming up here, but Dengwu has managed to pop up the YouTube link for those that are here. Uh, thank you, Dengwu. Uh, then, yes, thank you guys for watching. The uh, This extra credit will be posted probably within a day or two on YouTube. And then, Life Reboot, you should have the actual seed they're going to be playing what, up within, what, the hour? Yes, so yep. for anyone watching live, uh, the Async Weekly is going to have a Duckling extra credit featuring the flags that you just watched. So if it looks like something you'd like to run, uh, look for that shortly. Yes, and we will have uh, the, the flags for this extra credit embedded in the YouTube video as well, so you can make sure to follow along with it if you want to play it later. Uh, always, uh, just if you, know, if you come to this like six months from now and want to just see what, what these flags are like and you want to play them, feel free. It's great practice. It's great fun. These are fun flags, and it's a good a good way to learn the intricacies of Final Fantasy Randomizer on some non-standard uh, versions of the flags. So from myself and from Life Reboot here in the booth, Thank you for watching. The next uh, Duckling Boot Camp lesson, that'll be the standard week, week six lesson, I believe is going to be here on the Final Fantasy Randomizer channel. It's the one week it's here and not RPG Limit Break. And of course, uh, that will be uh, Monday at nine o'clock. I think we are going to be moving the extra credits to seven o'clock after this week, uh, because we have the weeklies for Final Fantasy Randomizer starting up as well. And while that might not be broadcast next week, we still want to give you guys an opportunity to play that. So expect 7 o'clock for the extra credit next week and for the final three weeks. Uh, and that will be Thursday here on Final Fantasy Randomizer's Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Final Fantasy Randomizer. And we hope you'll be back for the next Duckling lesson for week six. Thank you very much, guys, and we will see you next time.